Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. I'm Colsim Lakani, and I'm the founder and CEO of Invest to Innovate, or Eye to Eye. Um, Eye to Eye is an intermediary organization that supports seed stage startups. Uh, in new markets beginning in Pakistan. So we're all about identifying early stage entrepreneurs, providing business support through our accelerator program that we're launching this weekend uh, in Lahore, Pakistan. And we're building an angel network that is both in Pakistan and the diaspora in order to match entrepreneurs with seed funding. So really dealing with the issue of deal flow and how to actually promote a better enabling environment for entrepreneurship. Well, I'm Pakistani, despite my American accent, and uh, and I was really just fascinated. I was meeting all these young entrepreneurs over and over again uh, through my previous job. I was working in philanthropy, but was really interested in how philanthropic capital can play like a really innovative role in providing seed capital for entrepreneurs. And so I was meeting entrepreneurs over and over again that were um, had these amazing ideas, were really innovative, and had all this energy and passion, but they couldn't get the resources or the capital to start. Um, so there's a lot of funding for when entrepreneurs are ready to scale their businesses but not when they're ready to start. Um, so the problem that I felt existed not just in Pakistan but also in a lot of other new markets, so Burma, um, looking at Cambodia, like places that we could go next, like the Middle East, I think there's a lot of really cool ecosystems that can develop and there's a big role that we can play in those markets. So Pakistan for me was the most familiar and that's obviously where my passion is because I'm Pakistani but we aim to scale outside of there in the next year. It's actually really vibrant. You obviously don't hear about it in the news because everyone just hears about terrorism and the bombings and the violence and that's all there and it's important to not be apologetic about that. But um, there's so much energy in the country. Like, in the, I mean, we have two-thirds of the country are under 30 years old, so you just have a really young population. And when you have so many problems around you, you have like a population that really want to change the environment around them. And so uh, for me, working, I work more in the social enterprise sector, but really looking at viable businesses. And so we have so many young entrepreneurs that have like really cool startups that are working with small farmers. Um, and 60% of the population is under $2 a day. So there's a huge market that's there of actually looking at customers customers, low-income communities as customers, and providing solutions for them. Um, so everything from working with small farmers to solar energy solutions for off-grid communities, biogas um, solutions, working with um, people low-income, low-cost housing. Um, and for me, the tech space is really fascinating because the tech space is something that's really coming up, especially in Karachi, which is the main port city. Um, it's really vibrant there. It's vibrant in Lahore as well. Um, and you're seeing all these really cool young startups um, that are actually building solutions for Pakistan in Pakistan. And there's a lot of cross-pollination that can happen with the entrepreneurs that we're working with and how low-tech solutions like SMS um, technology can actually increase the reach of these entrepreneurs that we're working with into um, more hard-to-reach areas in the country. Um, I guess the big vision is really looking at like how can we play like a really big role in actually promoting entrepreneurship. So we work with university incubators. Um, we're looking to start advising on how universities can set up their incubators around the country. That's who we partner with. That's how we look at actually building our pipeline. Um, we're working with like industries, like looking at how corporate social responsibility can recalibrate their approach to actually support startups and innovation. Um, and so being a really big thought leader um, in that space has been really great because we're the first real mover in what we do uh, in Pakistan and that's kind of what we aim to do in more nascent markets. Um, and so that's kind of the big vision is like how eye to eye with our partners can really play a role in actually enabling young entrepreneurs in those places.